The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the Mixed Martial Arts Championship. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 148 pounds, Andrew Soulman Cho. Corey, what should we be on the lookout for here in this steel cage match? Cole, you can bet both of these superstars will be looking to use the cage to their advantage as much as possible here tonight. At least they should be looking to do that. And his opponent, from Asbury Park, New Jersey, weighing in at 420 pounds, Big Nasty. As we look at the steel surround the ring, Corey, what are your thoughts heading in here? There is nothing more barbaric than this, Cole. It's like we have a couple of caged animals locked up inside that steel. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. What's this? Slam with authority. Before 2017's Extreme Rules, there were just three previous tag team matches where championship gold was decided inside a steel cage in the history of WWE special events. The Hardy Boys were in two of those matches. At Extreme Rules, in order to win the match, both members of the team had to exit the cage and have both feet on the floor. The Hardys used their famous continuity to gain the early advantage until Cesaro and Sheamus utilized their devastating power to slow the pace of the match down. Both teams battle to top the steel cage, but in the end, here he goes. Is he done? 
wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Oh, nasty impact. Lightning fast reflexes. Oh boy, he is rolling. We talk about how important stipulations are in a steel cage match. If superstars sign a contract where the only way to win is escape the cage and have both your feet touch the floor, the competitors must have a plan. Especially since you have to be comfortable trying to escape through the cage door as you do climbing over the top of the cage and vice versa. And there's his speed paying off. Corey, you touched on something moments ago that's so important to the combatants in a steel cage match to remember. A superstar must be able to think offensively to figure out how they're going to escape the cage. They must think defensively at the same counter here. Just a step quicker, it looks like. I love these cage matches. The challenger not looking good right now. He can't be happy with how this is going right now. He's really starting to look fatigued here, guys. And when that happens, your whole body starts to give out on you. He's going to need to be careful here. Don't write him off just yet, guys. From what I see, these guys are pretty evenly matched at this point. Well, the idea here is to take out your opponent so you have enough time to climb over the cage wall and out to the floor. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Showing off some of his speed there. What a punch. He's looking at it. Is he going to tap? Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. He gets it with a reversal. Uh-oh, uh-oh. A long way up. And a longer way down. Last ride. Just when you thought he had nothing left. What a slam, Michael. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. He might have it. The challenger in some big trouble here. He put up a good fight, but it meant you got to believe this one's over. But can he follow up here? It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Gets out of the way of that one. Yeah, he's not looking very good at this point, Cole. Uh-oh, uh-oh. A long way up. Slam down. He's looking at it. This might not have been a wise move for him here, Michael. He survived the cage. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. Yeah, he's putting in the work. Look at him go. I really enjoyed every minute of this. Here is your winner and new. And we're underway. Oh, man. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup.
Champ's on the defensive now. He's going to have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. A maneuver like that is a great way to turn the tables. Beautiful technique. Going for the big one. He's starting to feel it here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. You hate to think this way, but part of me thinks he might be over his head inside that steel cage. I know it's early, but he has to do everything Ooh. in his power not to let this get out of hand. Gets out of the way of that one. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Ouch. Ooh, what impact. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, what impact. That could be it, guys. That just echoed throughout this entire arena. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. Damn it. Nice. Shut it down. That wasn't even close to harsh impact. This is all but over. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. He might have it. Eludes that one. He's not going to like this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. A long way up. And a longer way down. Last ride. Can he follow up here? The force of that impact should put an end to this match right here. Here is Lariat, but he's got to capitalize now. Damn it. I'm not sure how much he has left. I think. Ooh, right in the face. The stroke. This thing of those matches come to an end. Wow. Oh boy, he is rolling. Here is your winner and new mixed martial arts champion, Andrew Soulman Cho. Gonna feel the effects of this win for a while. Great effort from both these guys, Michael. I'm willing to bet this isn't the last time we see them square off. I don't think I saw one member of this Cleveland crowd leave their seat during that entire match. And I can't say that I'm all that surprised.